Hey, what's good, everybody? A lot of you have been reaching out and want to know, how did I make that cider braised cabbage that you saw on TV a while back? Well, today I'm going to give it to you. It's really easy. It does take a little bit of time because, again, we are braising. But, again, the flavors are well worth the wait. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my recipes, and share it with your friends. So our ingredients today, very simple, very easy. We just need one head of red cabbage, need a little bit of apple cider, some apple cider vinegar, and some cider beer. I actually prefer dry cider here, Strongbow, Magners, probably uh, good ones to use. If you want to use you know, something a little bit sweeter, you certainly can, but I think there's enough sweetness that we're going to get from our apple cider. You don't need that. A little bit of salt, pepper, and some olive oil as well. Let's get into it. For the cabbage, we're going to start by removing some of these outer leaves, especially if they look a little rough. Looks like I only need to do two here. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this right in half. We're going to leave the core in it for now because we're going to throw this on a grill pan real quick just to get some flavor and some char on this. So we'll hit this with a little bit of oil, some salt, and pepper. Put that on the grill pan. Again, get some grill marks on there. Then it's going to go in the oven, and we're just going to let that thing slow cook, and we'll slice it up. Cabbage is cut in the braising pan. We're just going to hit this with a little bit of olive oil on here. Get that nice and coated. And then we'll get it with some salt. Just enough salt on here. And then finish it off with a little bit of pepper. If you have any other spices that you want to use, you certainly can. You want to add a little onion powder, garlic powder, whatever. Salt and pepper is all I put on this. So now we're going to go over. We'll hit this on the grill pan for just a bit, and then to the oven she goes. Okay, our grill pan is nice and hot and ready. We're just going to take our cabbage very carefully, set that down. We just want to get a nice little char on there, some grill marks, add a little bit of that smoky grill flavor. So after a few minutes, once we've got a nice little char on it like that, we're good to go. That's all we're looking for is a little bit of color. Okay, our cabbage is done grilling. Now we're just going to add in our cider vinegar. I'm going to use about maybe about a cup of vinegar. Again, all the specific measurements will be in the cabbage and below. But yeah, about a cup of cider vinegar. That's just going to add some much needed acid to this because vinegar and cabbage are great together anyway. Then we're going to use Two cups of apple cider. And then we'll finish that off with two 12 ounce bottles of our cider beer. We'll cover this thing with foil and then it's going to go into the oven until the cabbage is nice and soft and tender. We still want it to have a little bit of a bite, but again, mostly very tender. All right, our cabbage has been in the oven now for three hours at 275. It's time to pull it out, we'll cut it up, and the only thing left to do is taste test. It's going to be tender, juicy, and just delicious. Okay, to cut this, all we want to do, we're going to go right down the middle like this. Oh, look at that. I can tell just from cutting it, there's still some, some texture there. It's still firm. It's not mush, but it's nice and tender. And then all we're going to do is just cut right down like this. Look how easily that's going through. Guys, this is going to be fantastic. Remember to check for seasoning. I mean, this was a big head. It probably needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Nice. Still got some bite, but it's soft. Those vinegar notes are coming through. It needs just a pinch more salt, but like I said, it's a big head of cabbage. I just like that. We season it to taste. Until the next dish, y'all.